the uh, California pepper has a very serious problem in our area. It's an insect called the pepper psyllid. And uh, I haven't looked at this tree yet, but I would almost bet that it has the problem. Well, a close inspection of the trunk shows that it's got some sort of a uh, trunk canker. There's a lot of weeping and pitch oozing from this trunk all the way around. So it looks like it's, it's a different problem than I thought. I'm looking at the foliage and the leaves don't look too bad. I see a little bit of the uh, pepper psyllid up here. But uh, the upper canopy is almost completely gone. Um, I would say we've got a trunk canker that uh, I'm not familiar with. There's a lot of cracking and a lot of oozing from the bark all the way up. Uh, I know there's a lot of trunk cankers in many of the trees that uh, I never saw 15, 20 years ago. So this one's a mystery to me. I keep discovering all these uniquely different problems with trees. Um, I've been in business for 38 years and I can say that I have noticed um, quite a few changes in the last decade, maybe the last 15 years. Started off with an increase in the number of insects. Um, the uh, Monterey pine started declining. There was so many insects coming in. And then I started noticing about 10 years ago that there was an increase in the number of uh, trunk canker type diseases. Um, whether or not these are being uh, transmitted by insects, very likely, very possibly. Uh, insects are the vectors of a lot of problems. Uh, but I've, I've noticed that many trees that didn't seem to have many problems before are now succumbing to these trunk cankers. Uh, I've noticed it in liquid ambers, I've noticed it in pistache trees, uh, more recently I've noticed it in uh, Brazilian peppers and um, the, I, I saw something in a uh, silver maple the other day that I've, I've never seen before. And it's more and more and more, uh, it's, you know, obviously the oak trees, many of the live oak trees and the black oaks and um, you know, they're all suffering from the Phytophthora remorum, the, the sudden oak death disease. But what's got me kind of perplexed is the increase in the numbers of unique new problems and the numbers of trees that I see in decline uh, that are difficult to diagnose. I'm seeing lots of, um, lots of fungus problems, lots of uh, um, new insect problems, lots of changes. And I'm fully aware that um, every area has its own unique differences. I'm in California, so what we have in California doesn't necessarily um, equate to even just a, a short change down to Southern California. Northern California, Southern California, huge differences. Elevation changes, weather changes, types of trees that will tolerate, types of trees that are um, indigenous to the area. Um, so, anyway, these are just some thoughts I, I wanted to share, and uh, anybody that uh, feels the same way, I, I would like to start a discussion on this. Uh, please send me an email to saratree at aol.com. Thanks for uh, taking the time to watch this brief presentation.